and add that remember participation grade okay uh, next I need you to get out a notebook of paper okay keep the syllabus out because I'm fixing to ask you a few questions questions about the syllabus itself okay um, so get the get a piece of paper out real quick okay I'm like, might want, if you need some time you might want to pause this video to um, get a piece of paper out so get a piece of paper out real quick um, it should be in your notebook because that's why we have the notebook for the class so if you have the notebook ready and out that's great okay um, if not, just find a loose piece of paper. If you need to pause this video to find a loose piece of paper or a piece of paper, then do so because this is going to be a part of your participation grade is answering questions. Okay. Um, hopefully, through all my rambling by now, you have found you a piece of paper. Okay. Um, now, I just want to show you what, why we're doing this. Okay. It says when you're on this August 14th lesson plan, it says guided practice. Students will answer any question about the syllabus. Okay, so this is your this is your participation for this day. Okay, um, so I'm fixing to ask you a series of questions, and you just write down the answer. Okay, and uh, make sure you number them because I'm going to give you a number. Okay, so number one, what are the materials needed for this class? All right. Number one, what are the materials needed for this class? And anytime during this video, you feel like I'm speaking too fast for you, then just pause, okay? That's, that's, that's the good thing about a video is you can pause at any time, okay? Number two, number two, how, many, how much percent is your participation grade? How much percentage is your participation grade? Number three. Number three. Name one class expectation for appropriate behavior. I want you to name me one class. This is number three. Name one class expectation for appropriate behavior. Number, I think this is number four. Number four. Um, I want you to tell, number four, what is the fourth procedure? Or what is the, let me take that back. Number four, because number four, what is the fourth classroom, music classroom procedure? Okay, for number four, what is the fourth rule for classroom procedure? Number five, what, what is the third offense for inappropriate behavior? This is number five. What is the third offense for a inappropriate behavior? All right, last question, number six, gonna be the last question. What constitutes something to be in the severe clause of this classroom? Number six, what constitutes something being in the severe clause for this classroom? All right. Now, at any time during that video, you need to pause those questions. That's fine. I'm only doing six questions, okay? We read through the syllabus. Even if you just listen to me, you should know the answer to all those questions, okay? So I've moved, okay? So that's why the video has shifted, okay? I moved, I paused my video to take another video somewhere else, okay? Um, what I'm fixing to do now is just go over our emergency protocols for the band hall. Uh, if you were to ever come back and be a traditional student. Um, so this is our band hall, okay? As you see, I'm trying to see if we get this, okay? As you see, we got chairs spaced out six feet apart. These are all six feet apart, okay? We had enough. We had enough room in the band hall. For just 32 chairs. Okay, so luckily we don't have any classes that are over 32. Thank you. Um, but again, this is what our band hall looks like. Okay. Now, if I and if I was to take you this way, okay, I'm, gonna I'm walking. Take you this way. I'm going to take you to our outside. Okay. This is our outside door. Okay. I don't know if you can see through it. You can kind of see through it right on that sidewalk out there. 
you see um, that is where we will line up every day okay I'm not gonna sit here and take the laptop outside but this is where we line up where students will line up every day to before they come into class okay and then some, either me or Miss Stapleton will open the door uh, allow you to come in okay and then when you come in okay so you get the band hall door in here okay you come in this is where band hall will click this way okay you will find your chair okay You'll find your chair about every uh, with that. We're probably going to put everybody's name on these chairs once we get it settled down where we want our seatings to look like. Uh, we have to keep up a seating chart and everything. So when we assign you a chair for when you come back to traditional, you've got to make sure you sit in it. Okay. Um, so yeah, our chairs. Okay. Um, if you look in that back corner back there where those black cases, all the black stuff, the black cases, gray cases, that is my percussion equipment. That is no, you don't touch that. Okay. You are only a music appreciation class. You are not a band student. So you do not touch that stuff. Okay. That stuff back there is for you not to touch. Same thing with that. Okay. That's our percussion cabinet. You do not touch the percussion cabinet. Okay. It's got expensive stuff. Okay. Um, got this thing right here. That's a we'll look at it again. That's a marimba. You don't touch that. Okay. Um, we got a bunch of instruments up there. You don't touch that. Okay. You don't touch anything that ever belongs to you because there's a lot of expensive stuff in this band hall. Okay. Don't touch unless we give you permission. Okay. All right. So the first thing we're going to talk about, the first emergency protocol we're going to talk about is the fire drill. Okay. Now, for the fire drill, you'll be sitting in a chair. Okay. Let's see if I can put this on a stand, okay? I got a chair. All right, so I'm sitting in the chair. I'm the student right now, okay? Emergency protocol for the fire drill, okay? Um, we have two exits, okay? The main, the first one we're going to use is this one, okay? The one that goes to the outside where the sidewalk was. That is where we use our fire, our fire drill exit, okay? Now. If there is a, if, if if there happens to be a fire in the band hall, and for some reason it starts on this side of the band hall where we can't go out that door, we do have a door. We got a lot of people making announcements. Okay, we do have another door all the way down there. I don't think you can see it. it's kind of glary, but you can see where the you can kind of see where the sun's shining down there. Okay. Um. But that's another door. So if by chance the fire starts down here, the main band hall entrance, we will um, go out that back one. Okay. But okay, so I'm the student sitting down. I'm gonna stand up. Okay, and just calmly walk out that door. We'll walk out that door. Okay. This is the band hall door again. We'll walk out this door. And out there, see if you can see it. I don't think I don't know. You can kind of see them. The, here, let me open the door a little bit. Yeah, open door. You see that practice field out there? That practice field out there is where we go for our fire drill. Okay, we'll line up in a single file line like you would always do for a fire drill. Okay, um, now if we have to go out to the back door, um, we'll go out the back door, walk around the building, and go to the um, practice field. Okay, um, but hopefully, we will never have to go out the back door. Okay. But that, so that's that's the fire drill, okay? Next we got um, the tornado drill, okay? The tornado the tornado drills. We got this nice long hallway, okay? Um, starting, uh, we'll start you. We'll try to start some. We won't start. We'll put some kids like right here, okay? The hallway is where we go for our tornado drill, okay? If you can remember, I'll try to show you real quick how we stand. I don't know if I can get my old setup down on the floor, but we're gonna try, okay? I'll just make sure, can you see me? Okay, I'm gonna try to get down, okay? Um, just make sure we get down on foot. Oh, I'm old, okay? Oh, we're gonna put our hands over our head and duck, okay? Make sure you put your hands over your head so that in case anything falls, like there's stuff on the ceiling above you. If stuff falls on your head, at least you have your hands over your head to protect you. Okay, I'm gonna see if I get my old self back up. Whew, that's old. All right, so that's the tornado drill. Um, like I said, we'll try, we'll probably start like somewhere like right there where you see that picture. 
we will probably, if we ever actually have a tornado, we'll probably take the pitcher down so it doesn't hit anybody. Uh, but that is that, okay? Um, now, the last kind of drill we have is a lockdown drill, okay? Uh, there's not a lot of places in here for the lockdown drill to work. Um, so the place, uh, the main place we will be going is in our percussion room, okay? Uh, I'm going to tell you a little few rules about the percussion room, okay? The percussion room is you do not touch anything. Don't touch anything in the percussion room because it's all expensive equipment, expensive music, um, music that if you do anything to that we have to replace, okay? So don't, don't go in there, okay? Um, or you won't go in there unless we tell you, okay? So let me show you, okay? So we got the hallway again. Okay, we walk, walk, walk. Our percussion room is this first door on the left. Okay, it actually says the title of the, of the room says music library. Okay, um, but this is our percussion room. This is where we'll have our lockdown drills anytime. Okay, so when we walk in, okay, we we'll immediately to the left. We got a bunch of percussion um, carriers. Okay, do not touch. We got a printer. Do not touch. We have a bunch of music, a bunch of music up on this wall. You do not touch the music. Okay. Now we might have this in here. This is I don't think we'll have that in there, but you know, if so, do not touch. 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 Now <laughs> when we get in here, if you see I have a this the door opens up down to this right here, and then to the left we have this wall, this little, like little cornered wall. Okay, when we come in here, you will hide behind this wall. Okay, you see? So look, I walk sideways. Okay, I walk sideways. You see that door? I'm gonna walk sideways. No door. No one's gonna be able to see you back here. When you get in here, you will not talk. You will not laugh. You will not do anything that will cause noise. Okay. We as the teachers will make sure all the doors are locked, even that door is locked, okay? Uh, but it's important that if this was, if it ever is, becomes a real lockdown drill, that you don't talk, don't don't laugh, don't giggle, don't do anything that could get us recognized that we are in here, okay? Um, you will also have to grab your backpacks, okay? In a lockdown drill, you gotta make sure you grab your backpacks. Um, you'll bring your backpacks in there. When you bring your backpacks in there, you'll actually set the backpacks along that wall right there where those percussion carriers are at on the floor. That's where you'll set uh, your backpacks, okay? Because in a lockdown drill, we have to make sure, we have to make it look like nobody's in here at all, okay? And the better we can do that, um, the better chances of not, not anything bad ever happening, okay? So um, somebody, one, either me or Miss Stapleton will be in that room with you or, and the other one, one of us will be in the room with you. The other one will be locking up doors, turning off lights, making sure all the backpacks have been picked up, okay? And then we'll sit in that room until um, until the um, lockdown drill is done, okay? I'm walking back to Miss Stephen's office. Oh, a lot of welcome, okay? So, obviously, those drills right now are not really pertaining to you as a distance learning kid, you're kind of like, why am I even having to go over this? I'm probably never going to be able to school. You you never know what's going to happen, okay? Uh, we don't know what's going to happen with this virus in the next few months. Um, hopefully, things will get better and we can all come back to school, okay? Um, but for now, so for now, that's why it's important that you know this stuff, okay? Even though you're not going to be here, it's important that you know this, okay?